What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I am back with a brand new video. Today I am commenting on my film Crammed, so I'm going to play the film and talk over the top of it so you can see my thoughts and what was going on in my head or reasons for what happened in each of the various scenes. So let's get started. So starting off we had a simple opening shot just to show everyone sitting down it's a good way to have the opening credits as well i love having an opening credits instead of just going straight to the film i think it's just a fun opportunity just to put names down and just to try something out um with you know going on something going on so this gave um all the um extra side actors um all my friends and stuff something more to do so shoma who plays kevin the toot um, you know, had his line there as well, and then everyone gets a little bit more screen time. Going over to the staircase is just a way to show that this is the main character, this is who we're following, and this is, you know, why there's an empty seat in the middle of the um, classroom itself. Uh, yeah, that was really all. That's just there, just so I have the opening credits kind of style, and just to give everyone a little bit more. Starting off then after the title and the name for me we go into the actual film itself uh establishing that jasmine is late and this whole you're late line by um Gujarat, actually he asked if he could say that and stuff and i didn't mind i liked it gave him something else more to do and just added a little more extra before we get to the point where we get to this quick montage of everyone doing the work um and this music's very over the top it's very montage is very like what kind of out of place and i liked it because it's trying to make um the whole test scene this whole film as a whole it's making fun of how difficult these tests can be and what's going on um so i took a bunch of shots to show one each of the characters more in focus um so everyone had their five seconds of fame per se and then um put it together to help extend this um work scene itself so i actually wrote a bunch of questions and created these worksheets for people to do um here in the shot actually we have dallas uh, one of my friends working behind the camera to do the change in focus because i had to be in the shot there um, and here we're going to enter jasmine's mind so we have her enter by closing her eyes tight and putting her hands on her face and we transition to the mind itself so the mind looks more greenish, yellowish than compared to the real world. In doing so, you know, you can establish the fact that something's changed. And here we have the Book of Knowledge. Um, this, I love saying the Book of Knowledge. It's a really cool thing. Um, and it's essentially a long-term thought. So with this whole um, universe I have here with the whole crammed film, we have long-term memories as books. So when you have um, English, the first short-term memory to come, you have all these books here. You have one on communication, one on guitar, um, one on Japanese, and the other one which is on knowledge as a whole. And it's empty because right now she can't concentrate, she can't think. Um, she crammed everything in last night, and now her mind is a mess. Even though it looks really clean here, uh, really, I really wish I could have more thoughts, but practically there's so little I could do. So I start to these sort of small amount of thoughts I could actually practically pull off. So we have English, time, and now we're going to bring in failing. And this was a really cool thing. I wouldn't have been able to pull off the whole um, same actress on the one screen until I did the night before where I had the car crash scene and I had the car, two cars collide with one another and I did that by masking one half of the screen. And I did the same thing here by having two characters. So I kept the camera in one position, which is why in this whole mind scene, the camera is stationary for the most part. I have zoom ins and outs, but you notice that those are four stationary characters. And it was really cool. Whenever I look at it, I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then you have the name tags to show off who's who. And you also have the clothing to tell. So I gave everyone a specific clothing, I gave, obviously time has the watch as you can see there, math has glasses, kind of acting a little bit more nerdy, Avengers Endgame has the top, and brother has the name tag on the forehead to make them seem more childish in nature and better suit the character they are. 
Yeah, so now here we go, and we have Jasmine once again closing her eyes and putting her hands on the head, reflecting what she was like in the start before she went into her, her mind. Um, we cut to an establishing shot, as he should, and we go back to her returning to the world, um, which is the average world. And you notice that only a few seconds have passed in real time. That's because the few seconds would have been from her opening up her eyes and whatnot, so time never passed while she was in her mind. And we get to the question which ends the film, and it's a really stupid question. So um, the pencil breaks, and you have these cool shots, and you end with the F word. And that was something I always had planned, ending with the F word um, as a little comedic ending. Um, and yeah, of course, yeah, I'm going to talk over the credits here, but this credits was a cool idea. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Dallas or Shoma, one of them brought it up. Um, that we should have these individual shots and everything um, and the lighting is so bad in this film it really irritates me because I should have controlled the lighting more and I just know the skin tones could have been better some of them work really well some of them don't um, but then I, this is a cool fun ending for it and I really enjoy doing it and putting it together um, working with everyone was real nice um, everyone's a friend and we had this cool ending here with Gajor, he asked if he could do that, or he didn't ask actually, he just did that while I was recording, and you can hear um, Sharon Jit, the actress with Jasmine, still laughing in the background. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna end this here, that was me just talking over the film itself. You know, it, overall it was a pretty simple shoot, you can see a specific breakdown of um, the mind scene with Jasmine um, on this channel as well, that video should already be out. And apart from that, it was a really simple shoe with a really interesting story, to say the least. And the most complex part was having so many of the same characters played by the one actress. And that I could only pull out, pull off because of um, the night before we had the car crash. And it was really cool to see. And yeah, I don't think there's much else to say about the film itself. But I'm really thankful for everyone who worked on it. And I can always get a good laugh out of the ending as well from the F word popping out. Um, and just being comedic in nature. This is the first film where I've really tried to make it a little bit more funny. Um, while playing a little bit more of the drama aspect of it. Keeping it a little bit more grounded. But comedy was the main nature of this film. And I think you can get at least one or two chuckles out of it. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet seen the short film, go and check it out on my channel. Make sure you also go and check out the breakdown I have of Jasmine's mind. Um, and in there you can get more detail about the making of that scene itself and some of the thoughts that went in behind it. So until next time, I'll see us.